Welcome to Root Standard Gaming and this is Overkill Boxed Game. Welcome to Slightly Things Slightly Different. This is actually a board game night uh, with me and Beverly. Uh, we're going to be playing the we've been playing the uh, Overkill game for a while now. We are currently, on, I believe, it's mission seven, where she needs to make these four Death Watch members survive. And I've basically got to try and kill them with all of these, except the Patriarch. I'm not allowed to use that in this particular game. If you're not familiar with the actual board game themselves, uh, I'm going to be going through the rules. It's a quite an easy game, I'll be honest. Majority of characters will have stack cards. That's the one for the uh, Imperial Fist. And he's got a speed of two, meaning he can move two locations, because all these boards are nicely arranged, so it actually shows you what location you're going to be in. So he can move two of those locations, he's got an armor saver 3 plus when he gets hit with stuff. And depending on the range, which is determined by a range ruler, will depend on how many attacks he gets. Now each hit, uh, some areas can do special stuff like blast can affect everything within a particular square. Um, so you can pretty much hit everybody if you did decide to shoot into that area, depending of course upon the range that it's firing at. And you can pretty much see across the entirety of the game ball. It's a little bit like 4K, just simplified into just straightforward dice rolls. The Gene Steelers come on like a Space Hulk style, normally using these cards, so that would be normally be a Gene Steeler Primus that would actually come on in a particular phase in certain areas. Just shove that back in like there. It's quite easy to follow, it's not that difficult. Majority of the Gene Steeler pull profiles are back here. The only thing you need to know is that Space Marines tend to have two wounds, so if they get hurt, you move it across to a wounded state, and if they get hurt again, they're gone. They can heal, so if they decide not to do anything in their turn, they can go from a wounded state back up to a full state, which can be quite easy to do. And they also get two turns of shooting. That's where they get two attacks from Space Marines. That's never a good thing. Especially in this mission where I've got to survive as much as I possibly can. So we'll break the each thing down in the in the game itself. I'll probably not do what I do in 40k ones where I miss the movement phase, because movement phase is pretty much gonna be as and when's needed. So let's get cracking. And here is Bev, my opponent for tonight. Uh, she's actually been kicking my ass at this game. Um, quite frequently. Uh, <laughs> uh, who have you gone with, Bev? Uh, Rodriguez, Grit, Jensen, Notorian, Veil, Donatus, and Dren, Redblade. I'm glad you can say all them names because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you gone for those particular characters? Because some of them use a lot of dice, so they've got low rolls to hit. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, they've got half decent looking uh, specials. So, majority of the specials um, they tend to have blast and rend on quite a lot of those, don't they, to be honest with you? Yeah. Uh, which is going to help you in this particular game because you have to kill me repeatedly. Exactly. Um, so we're going to set the camera up up there <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a top down view. So let's get cracking. Okay, it's going to be an odd one because we've never done it like this before, but I've drawn my cards. I have to draw 10 in this mission and actually deploy 7. I've got these cards in my hand. I know you can see them, we're going to go uh, question. When they're in your hand, you can actually use the gambit bits, which allows you to basically do these against uh, your opponent, which you kind of do need to try and get them together, otherwise uh, you'll end up losing quite badly. Uh, and Bev is a rules lawyer, which is why she's currently looking at the book. Make sure we're doing it right. So I've drawn my cards, which now goes into the Space Marine movement phase. So move your Marines, Bev. Well, they can all move two, so that makes life easier, too. Yeah, it does. So you're not using the Terminator to get movement to one, it's down on the bike with the movement to three. Mm -hmm. Well, because I laid myself out wrong to start off with one, two. Yep. Two. Oh, I'm very I'm going for it now, are you? She's 
I want to do that because there's not actually a connection between them two. Yeah, it's just in jumping. <laughs> and ends your roll if you do a jump. So, and then the next part of my phase, yeah. uh, basically I have to do my ambushes now. That's right. Yeah, but I don't get to do any moves. No, I've got nobody alive on board. No, I haven't got any. But, I'm going to have cards. I'll launch my ambushes. Which means I basically just reveal my cards. I can lurk if I wish, which means that I can hold back, which I might do. I think I'm going to lurk round to there. And then I'll just start playing some. Oh, thanks for helping that. No, no, don't, don't. Well, exactly, which I wasn't paying you can only let, let one lurk. So which one are you not lurk? Oh, sorry, yeah, it's only one, isn't it? Yeah. I'll open that one. That one? Yeah, there you go. Right, okay, so I've got two familiars. Apologies. These are the only unpainted <laughs> figures I have in my hand because I don't really use them in my Gene Stealer cult. I've got two hybrid with uh, two adherents with picks in this zone here. It's going to be interesting. And I've got three hybrids with auto guns and three hybrids with auto guns or pistols. If I watch out, sometimes you can put a grenade launcher in there. That's not something I need to use. And then the hybrids, they're not actually mixed, they're not mixed down into two different, it's just these or them. There's no differences. Um, three of them down here with guns. That's a Primus. So the Primus is on the field. The Primus himself acts more like these guys. So let's have a save. You guys can see that. Or do we get wounded? Uh, that hopefully should allow me to, uh, to spring some deadly traps. I'm actually going to be uh, playing Hypermetabolism. Oh, no, 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 I do apologize. That's the wrong one. This is the perfect ambush. Play this card on move appears after launching my ambushes. Um, all ambushing models arriving this turn can move normally. So, here we go with some jumping. So he's going to try and jump over there. And he dies. <laughs> Started well. And that's my dead pile. <laughs> he's going to do the same. So he's got a cross into the same square as the librarian. And he's going to do the same as well. So these two have managed to get across into the librarian square. If I manage to survive this, of course, I'll, uh, I'll be able to do some damage to it. But uh, because I've done this, I am allowed now to do some movement. Familiars are not like cracking. There we are, goes into the Death Watch attack phase. So the Death Watch now I'm going to be able to blast the crap out of all my guys. <laughs> so what are you doing first, Beth? Are you going to do some quickening, I'm guessing, on Toll Librarian yeah, there? Yeah, because I forgot to do it before I moved in. Yep, so... Before moving to Torian in the movement oh, phase, right, roll okay. a single dice, subtract one if you're on the same board section as a Major Sword Patriarch. On a 3+, plus, Notorian can attack twice with his bolt, pistol and force sword in each death watch attack Now, because we haven't played this for a bit, we perhaps oh, forgot that bit, so we're, we're going to allow her to go back and do that, yeah. which she does. That's not yay for me. So she can attack twice in this phase. Right, so he's now going to attack those two guys in front of him. So the two guys in front of him are in what's called assault range, because you actually use the tip, your range rulers, you've got assault, you've got combat, you've got maximum. So because they're now within assault range, basically you can only really assault as well when something's in your actual square, is she needs two dice, need them freeze. Yep. So one of them slices and dices, these guys don't have any save, so that's just going to go straight through, and then, and then she can again. attack again. Which slices and dices that one? <laughs> so, I've gone, damn it. Uh, next person. I'm going to go with uh, Rodriguez Grit. Okay, I'm guessing he's going to use the blast in this area here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it would. <laughs> so, 
either at combat or max range, I'm sure I'm going to be one of them. Uh, the threes to hit. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're at... <laughs> you're at combat. combat range. Excellent threes. Well, you roll for every person inside. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's possible. Well, I've got one of them. Yeah, so you've got one of them. Oh wait, you can re-roll once. Well, he can, yeah. Well, I've got one of those ones, one Yep. You get to re-roll one there. And now he's dead. So that's two of them. Two of them gone. <laughs> wait, I forgot they actually got a save. Is he? Hmm. It's cleave that stops you from a finger. So the first hybrid didn't survive. The second hybrid they didn't survive anyway. They need sixes because they're not, they're not that great. So I'm not doing very well uh, currently. And then what's uh, what's these guys doing here? Uh, right, so Red Blade yep. down here can run an attack in each Death Watch attack phase. Well, he's not running anywhere. He's just an attack. Run is something that you can do instead of attacking if you want to. So. So he's gonna attack these two. Yep. Well, at this area, if that's right. Uh, yep. Chainsaw, combat knife, and bolt gun. Uh, assault range. Three dice, needed to hit. It's definitely in the salt range, yep. So, mean threes. We've got one of them. And the other ones have got a five plus a save. So, they do get to uh, the save. Hey! Is that still on <laughs> yeah. rent? Uh, rent means that you, it piles over into other, right. other guys. Cleave is ones that you don't get any save against. That's what the mount to guns got. So I do actually get a save with him, uh, which is a bit bad. Um, so is the is the Ultramarine going to have to save his brother? Yeah. Um, it's two profiles on the actual gun, so you can select an ammunition type. It's within combat range, so she could use a blast. Now a blast would mean that both actual guys will get, it would actually hit both people in that square. Mm -hmm. Trisky though, it's a five to hit. It is. Donatus can attack twice with his bolt one in each attack phase. The attacks can use different ammo and be made against a different target or zone. Yep. So he could actually shoot twice into that unit, needing twos to hit. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot twice. So he's so going to shoot twice in the same zone. Rolling both yep, at the same time. rolling both. In twos. In twos. Oh, one is here. The five ups to save. No, it's pretty evident. It goes down. Funny is, I'm not getting these guys back. That's, that's a bit of a shame on this, in this particular mission. Normally I get hordes upon hordes of men. Um, but I don't in this one. So, have you done shooting? Yeah, that's everybody. <laughs> that's, that's everybody. Yay, Gene Steeler Cole gets to attack. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gene Steelers are not that cracking. Uh, a lot of its stuff is maximum range, which is, I don't like him. So I'm gonna try and pick him off with these guys with the auto uh, guns. Max range, one dice apiece. Three of them gonna shoot him, I need sixes. Can he get any? He's amazing. And then this guy here is gonna try and take on that Marine. He's within combat. Because he's within combat, he actually gets two shots with his auto gun. Again, still needing sixes. So I did actually get a hit. Now, Ev has to do a save, which on this guy is a three plus. No, so he's wounded, so his card goes over and he's now in a wounded state. He doesn't really change his um, profile that much, um, but he can, instead of attacking, he can actually try, she can actually try and heal him instead of actually shooting again. Um, so now, after my attack phase, I don't think the uh, hybrid can, I don't think the primus can do anything. Oh no, he's got a, his combat has actually, he's got a free up combat. Is he within combat? Yes, he is. You're in combat of him. So he's going to try and shoot at him. Then he freeze. Yep, he's hit him. He's hit that. Uh, he's hit that tall space wolf. You're going to need a free to save, Bev. No, the space wolf is wounded. Unfortunately, as well, the space wolf is right in front of the adherent. <laughs> so, with the power pick. So adherent's going to swing. It's got cleave, <laughs> which means that she doesn't get a save. Looking at me, <laughs> <laughs> and I need freeze to hit. It's one dice. <laughs> <sighs> so it's basically a space the space marines. I keep on this a space wolves. Space marines get another chance to attack. Right then. She does have two wounded men. She could let both of them heal and then let the other men do some shooting. That's my plan. So I'm gonna get. Rodriguez great at the back yep. to shoot that one that's uh, 
over there. Um, Tempted to use the frag cannon with solid rounds. So at least combat range, if not max, and that means force to hit, yep. but with three dice. Yep, force to hit, but with three dice, and you can reroll the ones. Wow. Let's reroll it again. No. <laughs> Why not? Can't reroll or reroll, darling. How dare you? <laughs> Still the. So he's done well. <laughs> I'm just going to risk it and, and heal him again. So regardless. he's going to be healed. Do I just heal him or do I? Yeah, you just heal him. don't have to roll for that. No, you don't have to roll for it, you just heal him. You just right. turn your card around. Right, okay, so what are these two Space Wolf and the Ultramarine? What are they doing? Um, Ultramarine's going to shoot at this guy. Yep, I'm Vic. guessing he's going to fire both of them. Or you just, well, you can do it one at a time, I suppose, can't you? Yeah, I might as well just sit him once. Yep, so shoot him. He needs two. Well done. <laughs> He's hit. He yeah, has a five to save. That's gone off the table. Right <laughs> <laughs> no, the yeah, other goes down. So that was his two shots. And then she could, if she wanted to, heal the space wolf. That's a sensible thing to do. This you need to survive. That's the end of the turn. Time to redraw your cards. That will be the end of that particular turn. Time for me to redraw my cards. And then again, I've got to draw up to 10. And then I've got to place them down. I think that's like it, isn't it? Yeah. Draw up to 10, place it on 7. Seven, seven, seven hundred like. each turn. Oh, apologies. Let's go back. I'm not allowed to lurk. Aren't you? No, we didn't realise that. So that would have been three hybrids of auto guns. I'm not going to shoot them. <coughs> I'm just going to put them on because that was my fault for not actually reading them. <laughs> You're going to move them as well because you have to move them down a bit at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> if I get to reroll the Tori at the beginning, then. <laughs> This will give me a hand of 10. And if I start putting some stuff down, the problem is I'm losing the enemies. <laughs> so, right, okay, so I get to do my. So I'll do my brood mine phase. You get to do your movement before I get to reveal my ambushes and do my movement. Movement phase, we don't want to do as quickly. Good point. Nope. No quickening this time. Spent all his psychic might healing his body. <laughs> move over that way a little bit and move him closer. Why do you want to move him closer? He's right at long range. Because I'm silly. Okay. Yeah, one, two. It's not like I've done anything silly. But you can't look any can you? No, so I've already it. So all the cards have now got to be revealed. The movement. The my movement. So he's going to... They don't have to, I'm just going to be able to fit them all along. So he's going to move into there, the closest. But now I'm going to keep him there. And the Magus is going to come on. On this one, I've got two hybrids. Or adamants with power picks. No more adamants with power picks. It's two adamants with pistols. That one there is two adamants with power hammers. Yeah, power hammers. You know. <laughs> the tables. The uh, familiar uh, Yeah, we're gonna go into that same square as you was forced you to shoot them. Uh, and then what do I get on that too with pistols? With auto pistols or adamant with power hammers. Three uh, hybrids with auto guns or auto pistols. Um, he can actually choose them as his minions for this turn, so they actually get uh, plus one to hit and one extra speed. Okay. Uh, hybrid with auto guns got a speed of two. I'm going to try and get as close as I can with these guys. I'm going to have to keep these separate, I think. Because those are the 
special for me. So I'll actually just keep them separate for that. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna jump. <laughs> Here we go. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean they lose their... No, I've had it's, it's an ability that okay. they get until the end of the turn. Alright, let's check it. <laughs> well done, Magus. Well done. <laughs> Primus, sorry, Magus is down here. Um, that's three hybrids with all guns. I don't know how hybrids with all guns. I'm glad you're running out. I'm glad you're running out. That's it. Yeah. I've got two hybrids with all guns or mining lasers. Mining lasers are here, and I've got two hybrids with grenade launchers. Seems to be quite a difficult mission. Let's grab that for a minute. For, uh, for Gene Sealer Cult to try and achieve this. Right, so shooting. Shooting? Yep. Yeah. I'll start off with these two down the bottom, down my side. Uh, Can I even? Mm -hmm. With the, the space wolf. Yeah. Rendability. If I if <laughs> if I was to roll all three threes mm -hmm. or more, does the third one go on to me on die? No. That's all right. I'm sure there's not a silver one going on. That's what he's doing then against these two little familiars. Yeah, yeah, so he's attacking the familiars in threes. Two hits. Familiars do have a save six. Oh, I saved one of them. I want you to kill those guys, I've got to take one painting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well then Donatus can attack twice with his bolt gun and yep. he's going to shoot the one that's left at the moment. No problem, so he needs two. Dead. Hooray. Come down. And then with his other shot, he's going to shoot at these guys with the power hands. Shoot at the guys with the power hands. I can't decide which one's out. I would set the power hammers, because they've got three, they've got two attacks needing threes to hit. Whereas the hybrids with the auto crystals have got two attacks needing fours to hit. I'm going to be risky. With my blast then, do I roll two dice because there's two of them in yeah, there? Yeah, roll how many there actually is in that zone. And then hope to get at least one five. Yeah, yeah. Cool. No. So she took a risk. Yeah, took a risk. Nothing happened there. Uh, so down at the bottom then, uh, Notorian with his power sword. Can't attack twice because he didn't get quick. And he's not within, uh, he's not within assault range. He's going to be range. on combat range. Okay, so um, So he can even use his blast or his rend. Who's my blast? At which target? The one with the magus in it. The one with the magus in it, lovely. Medium five, so then. Medium fives. You got one, Thanks. which will actually hit the hydro with the auto gun, so he's the closest one. So he goes pop. Magus is still alive. What's uh He's boom, 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 doing here. He's going to shoot the Magus as well. He's going to shoot the Magus! <laughs> With a frag cannon. Guessing with solid rounds, needing fours. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Why not? Go on then. Uh, re roll your ones. Oh, shame. The Magus has an armour of five plus. No, so the Magus is wounded. My shots. Oh, down. He's oh dear me. So it becomes my combat. And you're gonna hate me first. I'm gonna cast Warp Blast from the Magus. So he picks a square in the same section. So when you pick a square in the same section, it has to be the same, same board tile. section mm -hmm. tile that you're in. I'm gonna aim at him. He needs a free to hit, and it has the blasting cleave abilities. I don't know what that means. Cleave means you get no save. Okay. So he's wounded. He's wounded again, yes. His hypermetabolism, space means hypermetabolism needs to kick in. But he's wounded again, hopefully allowing these two guys with the auto pistols, which are outside of assault range, to be able to hurt him. So that's going to be two shots, because there's two guys there. They're both going to shoot him, needing sixes. Nothing. Probably. <laughs> I need to try and kill this marine. So, these guys here, with the plus one, they're going to shoot across the gantry. They're in combat range. Meaning that they've got two shots apiece. That's going to be six shots. Normally need sixes. They now need fives because of the Primus ability. Before he plummeted to his death. 
I need fives to hit you. Oh, I got two. So, he's wounded twice. He's got an armor save of three plus. If he fails one of these, you've lost your librarian. Oh, he's down! Librarian is down. A tut from Beverly there. She does not like to lose. <laughs> Adherents are going to go next with the power hammers. Both of them are going to try and... Well, I'll do it one at a time, actually. Uh, no, I'll go for both of them. Well, one at a time. So the first adamant then, going against him. Team freeze, two hits. Needs to save. Needs to save. Yep, saved them both. Second one, same again. Number one. <laughs> Seems to be a theme in this game. I'm wondering if it's these dice. <laughs> Um, I didn't move those guys, but I was very close. So the hybrid with the auto pistol. It's going to be one within short range and then one within long. So I'll go with the one within short range first. Need two shots, two attacks needing fours with his auto pistol and claws. Not fame. And then the other behind, not the other, hybrid behind him. Needing a six. Oh, he's hit! Bounces off his illustrious power armor. He's doing well so far. These guys are outside in combat range. Now, because he is the closest in the same square, he's going to be the first one hitting this. Uh, so that's going to be three shots with the auto rifles, for all, all from the same square. We're going to need sixes. I got one. I got a six. She needs to save. Yeah. Save it again. All right, so the mining lasers don't have a maximum range. They're only in combat range, and they have cleave, which I'm going to need to get them a little bit closer. And then the ones with the grenade launchers, oh, they're, uh, they've got blast. So, that'll be combat range. I might. Yep. I think both of them two are going to fire into those. So, the first one. So, you just you need to get combat range? Combat on maximum, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, just... oh, okay. Yeah, it's just fives. So, two shots need fives. Got one. Save, and then again, the second grenade, two shots needing fives. I got one. Oh no, so Space Wolf's gonna take a hit. This is not, uh, not gonna be good. No, my it's turn. The, it's your turn, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Actually, it's not, I forgot what I'm treating. Uh, they're going to be in you combat sure? range. Yeah. Like Against him. It's going to be six shots, needing sixes. None. So, have open fire upon that space marine. And not actually done anything yet. That's only a good round there for the Gene Steeler Cult. They've uh, managed to kill off the librarian. Or hurt him at least. They did actually lose their own primus to stupidity. <laughs> so. <laughs> Gantry was uh, worse than what he actually thought. So Bev, what are you doing? Okay, so the um, Rodrigo script yep. is going to try and shoot the ma majors again. All right, okay. Just yep, needing force. Yep. Reroll your ones. And five or six. Yep. It's alive at least. It is going to try and blast at that. It's going to try and blast at those. Which one? The, the wounded guy. No, this guy. Oh, he, him. He's going to try and blast. Well, he gets to fire twice, so he's going to use the blast from the first one then. I just didn't think that should explain to me how to work again. Why am I, if it's a blast, why am I not sure we both know that one minute? Right. He gets to shoot. Oh, double six! The adults have been blasted. Team fives. Ah, one of them goes down. <laughs> and then he gets to shoot again because of his special ability. Yeah, so um, I'm going to shoot directly. <laughs> so you're going to fire a crack round, round into, the, into the adult again. Yeah, I just need a two. Oh, you did actually declare that, didn't you? You need a two. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. 
Is he gonna heal? He's gonna heal. He's gonna heal. Right, so the end of that particular round. I'm not, it's not looking good. From what I've got on the board, I could probably do it, but I've only got one, two, three, four, five hybrids left and two pure strains. That is it. I'm gonna draw my eight cards, which will make my hand 10. Right, so we're moving. Yeah. One, two. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, oh no, we need five to show range, but you should be able to move the right side. I hope so. Uh, this guy's going to fall back, so one, two, as well. Mm -hmm. He's alright on that range. And then he's going to fall back, and he's better at long distance, so I might just pull him back to there. Okay. Pull them back. Yeah. Move them, move some of them forward. Pull you a little bit more in towards me. So, my movement, which these two guys are going to jump this gap. Yay. Well, the ambush has come out, so he can get to there and there. Yep. These guys are here. Closing, I'm closing the gap. Now I'll put down the pieces here. Um, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah. Probably better off actually staying back here. And these guys, I'm over to over here. Right, reveal my ambushes. Shall we honest with you? Yeah, 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 we're going to do a lot here. I've got a pure strain. Where's the other pure strain? Not really. It's alright. Two pure strains. And I've got five guys left. Left. Pistols. Uh, so. Auto pistols. Yeah. So I'm going to put three down here and try and swamp you in this section. Yeah. And then the remaining one is going to go down here to try and swamp you in this section. Okay. The rest of it, I have to discard. Is that everybody out now? Just Let's everybody through out. what's left. That's everybody out. Right then. So, you get a chance to attack first. Yeah, so, um, this chap down here. Yep. The Eldonatus is going to use crack rounds at this guy. Yep. Because these two need to shoot at him yep. for a yeah. weapon, so I need a two, and I don't oh. get it. But he can shoot twice. Yep. Yep, is it. Not saved, even though it bounced off Bev's arm, he's down. Excellent. Um, so now uh, the Space Wolf is going yes. to assault range at those in front of him. Yep, in that square. So it's uh, three to hit, three dice, dice, and it renders. Yep, so it so basically just carries on. Yep, so that all three. 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 for that. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> so it's just kind of. Brutalized everybody there, yeah. and then this guy combat he's range. in combat range of pretty much everybody. Right. His blast is going to be pretty good against certain units, uh, or his uh, frag cannon needing force. Yeah, um, we'll show at these ones. Yep, uh, with the blast. No problem. So three to hit, three dice. Three dice, then three. And you can oh Christ. All three. All three. I don't get these guys back, these don't get a save. So we managed to sweep the Marines have managed to sweep and clear everything that's in front of them. Um hopefully my mining lasers might be in range. I don't think it will be. But, <laughs> but right, so the Marines have done quite well there. Right, I get to uh, I get to attack. Got one in assault range there. Is that in assault range? No. No. We've got one in the assault range there, so that with two attacks against him needing force, I get one. Yep. He gets to save, yep. Yeah. No. no. Ultramarine. Ultramarine is wounded. And then the other guy behind him is going to shoot him with a pistol, longer range, needing a six. No. <laughs> uh, so these guys have got combat ranges. He's going to do a run. Keep forgetting that kind of runs. Uh, these guys are going to shoot a combat range, it's going to be three needing sixes, because it's three of them. Four, 
brushes. You can see the look. <gasps> Two sixes. The Ultramarine is battered by slug rounds. He shrugs them off. He shrugs them off. Uh, these guys are going to run. Well, that might be a bit dangerous, but I'm trying to pen him in. These guys will run. Jump. <laughs> yeah, well. Run. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it's a safe Two plus to jump. Two plus to jump. Um, are these within the mining range? They are not. I didn't think it would be. So these are going to run. These grenades are going to fire into these guys here. So I need the first one. Two shots need fives. Ooh. So the Space Wolf will be hit first, draw someone, and just bounce it off, and then the second grenade into the same square. Yeah, another one. Oh no, the Space Wolf's wounded as well. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Right. And then you've got these three left that are in combat range. That's going to be six dice. I've only got five. There we go. <laughs> Six dice, I need sixes. I get to save. You get to save, pick your poison. Otherwise the ultramarine's gonna go down. He's alive! Damn it! <laughs> God damn you! <sighs> okay. Uh... So you get the chance to attack again. Mm -hmm. Before I get to do anything. Two. Are you sure? Because I believe that might be assault range. It is. Alright, yeah. oh, there's two. Yep, yeah, you shoot them. After the uh, fragment lasts three dice. Okay. Three freeze, yep. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm just having to get close to my eyes, I don't know. Hybrid, two hybrids with auto pistols in sixes. I'm in a pure strain, needing a four. Damn it. <laughs> I need that pure strain. I needed him to cleave his way through these space marines. And those two are gonna heal. Right, okay. Not risking it. Not risking it. Now in a movement phase, I'm not gonna be able to get. Oh, I know I can, because there's a square connection there, isn't there? Yeah. So, in my brood mine phase, there's no point, apart from getting some cards that's going to allow me to basically cause ambushes and all sorts of stuff. So I've got to draw, no, well no, I have to draw 10 and then lay 7 down, I'm going to have no people coming out. Okay. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'll just discard 7. <laughs> so. Let's watch the movement phase. Apologise. I've been through the mining lasers. I want to speed them up. <laughs> Where did you move to? I moved them too fast. They would have moved to that square in the next turn. So. Oh, okay. Did you get to shoot? So, sorry, sorry, internet. <laughs> did they get to shoot? No, no, no. Didn't get to do anything. That's alright then. Didn't get that. So that's why we've gone back. Need to worry, I've died and not realised. <laughs> Are you trying to get a? Uh, are you trying to get a wounded? No, I didn't think I'd get. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get. No, a I could have been driver. able to shoot instead. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll move him in with them. Yeah. Oh, good idea to move across. Yeah. Okay, so you've moved <laughs> to there with him. Moved that into there to try and create a square, and you've moved the space wolf into here to make sure that I don't get any real attacks. So I reveal my ambushes, Ooh. ambushes. <laughs> and then my guys get to move, so the jeep, the pierce, these guys are going to move in here, and we'll keep that on there, the pure strains, going to get into that square over here. How many moves does he get? Two. Okay, so one, two, three. Who's there, wasn't he? Oh, oh sorry. Right, sorry, well I just, I moved that one into there, that's my fault. Um, so that's going to be pure strain will be in there with an assault range anyway. It's clean. That's why Beverly doesn't like these guys. <laughs> Here. Just 
Mm. No, because if you start throwing everybody too close together, you're just going to blast everything to pieces. Certainly try. Right. So I've done my movement. It's crunch time. It's your time. Space Wolf down there is going to assault with his chainsaw combat knife and bolt one. Yep. So he's going to have three attacks. He's going to need threes. One, two, three. Sixes. <laughs> Can't get a number at least. So he just cleaves through them. So I'm not got a lot left here. Right, so we're Ultramarine. Ultramarine, what's he doing? Well, you can only shoot into the guys, that's actually in his area. Yeah. I think if he uses Blast, because he's already in that zone as well, he's got a chance of hitting himself. Yeah, I don't really dare that. Um, I'm just going to roll both dice at the same time for both of his hits. Okay, yeah. Let the two better off, obviously. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. He's rolled one nearly every single time. So one of them saved, one of them down. Oh, but does he need sixes? These are sixes, yeah. And then you go with the frag cannon, what's he doing? Uh, frag cannon. Well, I only hit one of them, yeah. and then you saved one of them. Oh. So I don't know why you... Yeah, it's so alright. I thought you'd roll hit twice. No, one okay. roll one. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I saved me one. <laughs> Wouldn't have been complaining if I took both off, or would you? Yeah, I'd probably still have full face and like what you're doing. Right, okay, what's this guy doing? Uh, frag cannons. Um, he's outside of assault, pretty much. Yeah, idiot. so he's outside of assault. I think he's within assault on them, actually, though. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that one guy. Yeah, but it's that square, isn't it? So. Where is this guy? He's got four attacks, three and fours. He has cleave, so you have no save. But I'm in combat range. And he's got a four up. But he's within combat range. He's within combat range. He's no. within combat range, he's not. Yeah. He's within combat, sorry, combat range, yeah. It's not assault range. Right, so I'm shooting at that guy. Yep, no problem. Need three. Oh wait, I might as well roll. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna roll the solid, solid rounds, being oh, fours. So he gets to re-roll ones. That's the same roll you've done every time you fire that one. So one shot. Ooh. Three shots at him. Right, okay. This guy has an armor save of four plus, which he always, always gets. He always gets his four plus. He always gets four plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll be alright when you roll ones, he doesn't always get four plus. That's both pure strains gone before I even got a chance to try and cleave through these guys. This is not looking good. Oh right, okay, so it actually goes into my turn. Two attacks against the Ultramarine in fours. Oh dear, that's two hits. Save on the Ultramarine. Oh, oh failed one. Two. So the Ultramarine goes down a bracket. Right, okay, so I'm within assault range there, just wasn't I? Mm -hmm. So two attacks, needing fours against the nothing, and then two pistols, same guy, nothing. Are my mining lasers in range at combat? No, they are not. God damn you! <laughs> so, because he's wounded, I'm going to take a risk to see whether or not I kill my own guy. Because <laughs> I need to kill him. Because can... you're just going to heal him. If I don't kill him, he's going to do a run. To there, murder that bugger, and then he's gonna, or oh, he's gonna be able to shoot me. In. Just, so I need to kill him. So the first round, it's going in. It's gonna need a five. It's hit your space marine. I got the space marine. But do I also get my guy? I do. <laughs> do I save? No. So both them two have gone. They have both gone. Right. I've got a frag round that's going to go into your frag man, so it's the Space Wolf and the Imperial Fist. Nothing. I got lucky then. We're down to two, but the Space Marines do get a chance to attack again. And this guy here can run and attack, so he can pretty much just go, 
Ha ha! Yes, please. And then try and murder all three of them. Yeah. Assault range, chainsaw, combat knife, and bolt gun, needing threes. That's two of them. Need sixes to save. No. One left. Now Bev can select. It's not going to be good going against him, but it is going to be good going against these, these, or even. Yep, yeah, just at the edge of it. Man. Uh, you want to go against them guys? Three so. shots. Well, are you going to use your blast or are you going to use your solid slugs? Blast. blast. So it's going to be three dice because there's three guys in the square and she needs three. Do you all ones? All three are dead. I just don't think I fired one. That's my own fault. <laughs> <laughs> I do forget these things. So I've got two guys with mining lasers, two guys with grenades, and a guy with a sword. So it's a redraw. It is, it is. Okay, so um, I suppose going to move to here. Right, you can't go through because there's a guy occupying that square. So you can go into it, but you oh, can't go yeah. through it. You want to leave it? No. No, I'm going to use two squares to get round to that side. Yeah. Right, you are. Which nice there. Still in assault range. Right? Yeah, yeah, still be in assault range. Um, right, okay, so it's going to be my movement phase. So I'm going to use Incredible Leap on one of the mining lasers. This allows him to jump up to combat level. So he's going to be able to get into there. But, here we go, it's a jump. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> so my one's from the beginning and now yours. Why can't these jeans tail jump across stuff? <laughs> so, a man in laser kills himself. Shoot. I don't even think he got that far, he could just tripped over the ledge. <laughs> Incredible leap. No, what he's done is he's had on the gantry, but he didn't see. <laughs> he's just trying to go across and he's spark out right there. All right, so tunnel salt is my second next, which basically means pick this card in your movement phase, pick one of your models instead of moving a model normally, place it on the same board section in where, um, place it in any zone on the same board section in which it can fit, which I've completely messed up. Well, no, I haven't actually. I'm going to go there. <laughs> So I can try. Could have done that anyway. <laughs> no, no, because he's only got a speed of one. Yeah, so you could have moved there Oh, anyway. yeah, you could have done. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just... Shoot me now. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute. Better? Are you moving... You're not moving those guys at the back, are you? Mm. They're going to stay here. Right then. Space Wolf is going to use three dice. Yeah, three against that guy. that guy. That's the plan. <laughs> Mullard. Come on, beast! No! <laughs> God damn you. And then uh, Imperial Fist is gonna. Um, I don't know. Shall I have those? He can f aim now, can't he? Mm, he's in range. I'm gonna use my uh, solid rounds at him. Okay. Three dice, need fours. Fours, yep. Yeah. Three rolls on the one. Oh, well, on one. I need a six. <laughs> right. So, no. my turn, my attack phase, I'm going to have Killing Surge. Hit one board section. And uh, all the models in that section, can you can attack twice with models in this board section. So, rather than rolling all of them separately, because yeah. it's two attacks and two attacks, so I'm going to do this twice. Because first grenade is going to hit them both. Yeah. Actually, no, I'll have to do them separately in case he kills one. Okay. First grenade, need fives, one wound. So the space wolf's wounded. It's the closest one. So he's firing again because he can. Nothing. And then him firing twice. So the first one is a wound. Saved. And the second one is also a wound. So the Space Wolf goes down. We are down to the wire. 
of an imperial fist with a frag cannon versus two grenade launch. <laughs> but you get to attack again. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> right, so I'm going to blast at them. Yeah, I thought you would. Three, so Two dice, please. Yes, you did. <laughs> because I forgot to fire the auto guns, <laughs> which wouldn't have done much anyway, but I still forgot to fire the auto guns. Oh, play it, don't we? I didn't think I'd win that. I thought I was going to win that as well. I thought, oh, I've got her now, I've got her on ropes. On like turn two or three, when the bomb is full of everything, I was like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, that was intense. Thank you very much for that. I've got a new favourite now. Yeah, <laughs> it's always been your favourite. So that's a quick game of Overkill. Thank you very much, Beverly. Yay. <laughs> Smile there. <laughs> um, because she's won. Absolutely. And she always loves it when she wins. Yeah. Which means I'm not going to hear the last of it for a long time. <laughs> for a while. Uh, right, okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, there were some good dice rolls in there. Especially the, uh, the last bit there. Just taking him out, I thought I'd actually got her. I thought that adrenaline surge was going to actually get her. But no, if you like this uh, video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, I might do some more board games, but I've also got my battle reports on there and some painting reviews on there. And we'll see you again next time.